Your Roving Reporter here at Comic Palooza. And look who I found, my co-host, Mr. Greg Kelso. He's kind of doing a little bit of multiple duty, a little bit of the con hour, along with a little bit of his books. So tell us about your books, sir. Well, my books are Alonica, Rise of the Dragon Ears, and Alonica, Splitting Ears. It is a series. There will be a third one eventually coming out. And I also have my Western, which won Best Young Adult Western in the state of Texas for 2020. Nice! Also on audio, which is done by Tess Primack, who's a Broadway actress from New York. And that's about all that I have on the book so right now. So can you tell us a little bit about Alonica? Alonica is basically started out with an adventurer who finds out that his father, he was told his father passed away and then he found out that his father was actually alive and is actually part dragon. So he has dragon blood in in his veins. Do we want to know how that don't happened? don't want to know how that happened because okay. that's a little bit of a spoiler part of the book. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, we're also doing some of the con hour. What guests have we been able to actually get a hold of to do one? Oh, Lordy. Uh, we've gotten a couple of artists that we've actually talked to. Names right now are fuzzy because I've been talking to so many people today. It's not even funny. But, we have possible shows coming up that y'all are definitely going to want to be a part of. Let's put it that way. Like I said, I don't want to give out any spoilers because I know people like surprises. So. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Well, we're going to take off here soon because we're going to do some more interviews here at Comic Palooza <laughs> via the Con Hour. You're here. you got to find everybody. This is like craziness. There's people everywhere. So, signing off for right now. We'll catch you in a few. The King from the Texas Renaissance Festival. And Huzzah! That's what I was waiting for. And we are going to have them on the con hour. We just don't know what date yet, but we are going to let you know very soon. Check us out. There's I can't thing. wait. There's this really cool thing they have at their table, this little wheel. You can win things like this really cool t shirt, uh, all sorts of other things. What is your booth number, sir? Our booth number is 1111 or it's 1111. Or it's 1,111. Or it's 1110. You decide, you come on down. Awesome. So come on awesome. down here to Comic Palooza. Make sure you get around and make sure you step by the Renaissance. Fest. That's right. TexRenFest.com. Get your tickets. Have go. fun. Awesome. And that's it. See what other care. information we I'll be talking to you soon. Right. We're going to have fun. Oh, yeah. short story collections, all horror of course. This one focuses on strong female characters, good, bad, human, non-human. Like that. <laughs> and then a zombie short story series, which I have books one through three so far, but I have three more to go, and then I've got several books that are in the works right now. So what is the short story <laughs> one about? Okay. Each book focuses on a different character in a different city in Texas. They oh, take yeah. place over the same three days at the very beginning of the zombie apocalypse. You can actually read all three of these in any order. Um, Jenny and Jamal start to meet up toward the end of the book, and then eventually four, five, and six, they'll all start to merge until they're all together at the end of the series. So those watching and know our different personalities, this would definitely be an Amy table. Just saying that right now. So what's the apocalypse bingo? Um, this actually was, I thought it would be more popular than it is. It's just different things that I thought might happen in 2020, and a lot of them did. Especially if you rip it out, you play it with your friends. And it's 2021, and some of this is still going on, unfortunately. <laughs> so and I'm just giving these free with each purchase of any book. Nice. So, what all is, um, sorry, brain freeze. Brain freeze. If people want to find you online, how can they find you? I have a website, an Amazon page right here. This may be the best way, that way you can just catch all of it right there. Awesome. And for those who want to find you today at Comic Palooza, how do they find you? 
I'm at 1913, and 13 is not an unlucky number. Not in her case, anyway. No. So, thank you so much for taking a look at your time. Thank you for coming by. You. Um, and for those paying attention, we'll see what other trouble we get to because I'm pretty sure there's a certain vehicle that we all love that Greg, Trevor, and I are going to go visit in just a little bit. Bye. Bye. And after speaking with the king, why not talk to Deadly's Dark Impressions and Castle Guitar, who are vendors at the Ren Fest. Nice. So you definitely have to go by and check out their booth there. But we're also here at Comic Palooza. What's your booth number? 2002. 2002. Like Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey? 2010. Oh. <laughs> but look at the leather. I mean, wonderful pieces of work. What all you do? Guys, speak up. Really loud. Um, we've been at the Texas Renaissance Festival for 25 years. Uh, we make leather barbarian armor. Everything is handmade and on a lifetime warranty. Wow. And if you check out my image, they're the ones who made it. Yep. Was it something like that? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. This stuff looks yeah. great. Do you guys have one? Yes. So, do you like actually buy it? Make sure you check them out today. If you're here at Comic Palooza, they are in 2002. Tons of leather. Looks awesome. Check it out. We'll see what other problems we get into. Catch everybody later. Have a good one. DJ and Matt Hawkins for Cocktail President. Hey, how you doing? Think Tank Postal. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Bunch, a little bit of everything. Here's his comics right here. Or books, if you rather. Yeah. Graphic novels, I would call them. Yes. Yes. They They're uh, called graphic novels now. It's very hoity toity. Now, what got you into? Uh, you know, I was in college, and uh, it was just initially, it was just a job. And uh, I was not, people talk about like how they have this lifelong love for comics, and when I tell people my quote unquote origin story, how I got into business, they always hate it because I didn't really read comics. And, oh, no. Uh, I started as kind of just a job. Uh, then I fell in love with the medium, and uh, so I've been doing this now for a little, almost 30 years, uh, 30 years in April, so not 20 years, so it's about 30 years. And, uh, but uh, I've written most of the books you see here, and been part of the company at Top Cow for 23 years, part of Image Comics for almost the entire time. Nice. nice. Well, we were talking to him beforehand, he has two different genres going on. Yeah. The first is probably something that's more of my alley, which is your sci-fi, right. and yeah. what else? Sci-fi, supernatural, uh, slice of life sort of reality. Like uh, these books, like Postal, is about a, a small town where criminals uh, get a new identity. Like what next? Hard what's like criminals? Yeah. Nice. Crime noir. Thick. That's uh, these are nice. I really enjoy this format. It's uh, it's a good thing you can give to your mom and say, "Hey, mom, look." You, know? you can read it forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With uh, the black pearl reminds me of you know Edgar Allan Poe. Of course. Of course. Then I've... jumping over to this side, we yes, have. Sir. Believe it or not, he's also a romance author. And this was kind of, uh, it kind of happened accidentally because, um, like I said, Stepan Sayets, who's an artist who works with me on Aphrodite, so he was also a science fiction guy that works with me on sci-fi stuff. And he did this, he said to cleanse his palate. He wanted to try something different. So he did, uh, this is about uh, two girls in SNL. Nice. And uh, so it's a, I call it Fifty Shades of Grey Light. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and it's interesting because it's much more authentic, and the people that are into that stuff, they they always come up and talk to me about him and his book and how much they like it and how much they hate Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, but, uh, so I did this book as a spinoff, which is about a couple that's into ethical non-monogamy, a.k.a. swingers, and uh, that is sort of their life. And uh, So it's looking at sort of some sort of alternative uh, lifestyles and exploring it, how the ups and downs, uh, you know, and it's not, it's not a uh, glorification, it's more of a, an exploration. Gotcha. Now you've got quite a few things on here. You've got some very cool glasses. Yeah. You 
got this poster. Prince, Can you explain yep. that? Is that part of the these darkness? Guys? Yeah, the darkness is probably one of our most uh, well-known iconic characters. Uh, there's been two video games: an Xbox uh, One oh. and PlayStation Four, Please. and uh, so it's this longest-running character. We've got a supernatural hitman. I like it. So, and Mark Silvestri created this character. Um, it's one of the longest-running things, and we're celebrating its 25th year. And uh, we're doing, we have a Kickstarter that's live right now for the second volume, which is already funded, but we're only on the third day, so we got 27 more days, and we're, we're pretty happy about that. This was a Kickstarter for the first volume that came out last year. So, what are we talking about prizes? Because I can imagine like these big boys. The hardcover is 50. Uh, most of the individual trades, the first issues, first volumes are ten dollars. We do that just kind of introductory price to get people to try them out. Uh, the second volumes are and, and subsequent are usually fifteen. Sometimes nice. so I'll do sets like if more people want to buy all three, I'll do like Okay, so people who want to find you online, how do they find you? Uh, topcow.com. Topcow. Yeah, in fact, uh, we have a ton of books for free on topcow.com. So if people want to sample the books and see if they like them first, they can choose to try almost every one of the books I have shown here. The first issue is available for free on topcow.com. Very cool. Well, thank you for taking some time thank every you. day to talk with us. Absolutely. And we don't want to take too much time from them because I know they're going to get busy real quick. Anyway, guys, come check them out. Comic Palooza in the autograph area. Yeah. And we'll have a great time and we'll check them out. He might be on our show in the future. See have how much one. more trouble I can get into in Comic what I found. We've been teasing, but check it out. Yep, it's the Supernatural Baby. And I'm here talking to Ms. Lisa about it. Lisa, what can you tell us about the car? Um, well, we bought it in 2012, found it in Conroe, and it was a mess. We got, uh, got it all fixed up in a year, and we started taking it to cons in 2014. This is our seventh time here at Comic Palooza. We have such a good time. They treat us so well, and the best part is the fans. It's not complete until somebody runs up to the car screaming, baby. Exactly. So how were you able to get your hair for this stuff? My husband can find anything. I mean, you guys need to. I don't know if you can zoom in on here, but there's some really good little legends. I mean, come on. Some of the stuff we did by hand. I did all the lettering here by hand. But check all of this stuff out. Yeah. Their FBI badges are over there. Yep, if it's in the show, it's in here. There's a few things we don't have, like the grenade launcher, because you have to draw the line somewhere, right? <laughs> so, what are the cons are you on for this year? Um, so far, we, we're doing Comic Palooza, and then in August, first beginning in August, I think, is Bell County. So, we'll be up in Bell County. And after that, so do you have like a website or Facebook page or something that people can kind of keep track of where we it's going to be? The Facebook page is the most important object in pretty much the whole universe. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you so much for showing us, baby. Tune in tomorrow. If Amy's here, she's going to dive a little bit more in depth into baby because that's her realm, even though I am a supernatural fan. So keep an eye out for Amy, and we're not done yet for today here at Comic Palooza. Bye. <laughs> Wait, we have to get a teaser of the car. It's baby. Hey y'all, it's CJ Peterson from the Con Hour here at Comic Palooza. We were all kind of looking around the cars and ran across this cool one. This is Tooley. He's gonna to talk to us about the G.I. Joe car. car. Can you tell us? A little bit about it, what made you come up with it, and how you did it. Well, I am 42, and this is what I grew up on, Transformers. G.I. Joe is one of my favorites. So I went ahead and went with this theme. Uh, the two favorite characters of my G.I. Joe experience, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes is on the other side. And I kind of liked them because they were brothers, and they always go at it each other. And it's a good, good theme for me. Cool. So this looks like a wrap. Yes, it's a wrap. Okay. Do you know some of these? Yeah. I'm partner Rich Kids at 713 on Instagram. And my partner Q, High Def, and he uh, designed it. Very nice. Really like it. Um, the wheels and everything from? Yes, it's stock. I just uh, power coded them. Uh, the lug nuts are from True Spike Lug Nuts out in Florida. And I went with a custom candy. Flake paint on the rails 
and the tie stickers uh, are from tiesticker.com. Okay. Right. So are you going to be at any other Comic Cons throughout the year? I'm um, trying to go to San Diego, but anyone that wants to invite me, I'm sure I'll be there. How do they find you? Uh, at Big Tooley on Instagram. Big Tooley Instagram? Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And this is what other trouble I can get into. I only have a few hours left, but I'm sure I can find something to get into. Check y'all later. Hey, you all. It's your Roving Reporter, Miss TJ Peterson, for the Con Hour here at Comic Palooza today. Just when you thought you were done, you saw these cool things. And I had to stop and talk to her. Your name is? Sherry Moore. Sherry Moore. You're the artist who does this? Yes, ma'am. How do you do it? Laser printing. Laser printing, yes. Onto the wood. It goes on there? Yes. So do you design it all? Uh, some of it's a CVG bot and such. Okay. So, and how much are these? They vary. Uh, they start at 15 and go up to 25. The bigger ones go up to 35. Awesome. You really like it. What else do you have on this table there? Uh, I've got my stash boxes. Same brand as Bird on there. Uh, on my website and such, all these will be going on there. Uh, but also got my wax melts, so just typical the ones that smell like you would buy at the store. Just are made out of soy, so all natural ingredients and such. Uh, and then the fray is actually I do lotion as well. So same premise again. You put them on the wax warmer, it melts. You have warm lotion instead of cold. Uh, and then I do candles. <laughs> Very so. cool. Um, so, for people who want to find you online, in case they're not here at Comic Palooza today, how can they find you online? Uh, the Ravenbones.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And your booth number? Oh, and your booth number? Uh, 2135. Yes, 2135. Awesome. Thank you so much, and thank you guys, and we'll see what other trouble I can get into. Time is limited and counting down. See you later. Star Wars fans, there's a lot of Star Wars, there's a lot of DC, a lot of Marvel, a lot of superheroes, a lot of video games, uh, Disney stuff, pretty much everything out there. That's, uh, Do you have any originals they can get their hands on? I have lots of originals, absolutely, yeah. I have it on my website, I uh, post it, uh, absolutely, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, you also do commissions. I do, I do. Uh, a lot of what you see started as commissions, and then I said, well, this looks great, I think we should turn it into a print. Okay. Some of my favorite uh, prints are commissions. And how can they find you online? Uh, if you type in Mustafa, which is a tricky name, M-O-S-T-A-F-E, T-A-F-A, I forgot how to spell my name. It's only been a few years. I've mispronounced my own name online. Do you? So, my yeah. family mispronounces my name. It's fine. So Mustafa, M-O-S-T-A-F-A, and then I-N-K. Uh, Mustafa Inc. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, my website, MustafaInc.net. Lots of ways to find me. Awesome. And your booth here at Comic Palooza? It is 2026. Now, are you going to be here tomorrow, too? I will. I so, can't guarantee all the art will be here, but I will be here. So, if you're not here today, make sure to come tomorrow. Check out Mustafa's stuff. Take a quick look at it. Yeah, and he's at, he's at booth 2026. 20, and we'll catch you all later. See what other trouble we can get into. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Hey, this is CJ Peterson from the Con Hour here at Comic Palooza, one of your favorite co-hosts. We're here today with Miss Blue, who did the actual badges for the press badges for Comic Palooza. This is the picture that she used. Miss Blue, thank you for coming on today. Can you tell us a little bit about your art? Um, I do a lot of dark subject matter, um, a lot of pop art from, from my childhood. I like to take my own experiences and, and, and put it into my art. Right, and we talked about this earlier. So. By looking at these, you had some very dark memories growing up? Actually, um, no. The, the darker the piece, the happier the memory is. Okay. And the lighter the piece, the darker the memory is. So, so I like, like the opposite. Yes. Right. yes. And about how long does it take you to do what the uh, It usually takes about a week or so. Um, sometimes it could take up to a month because I like to do a lot of different pieces at one time. Um, kind of get them sussed completely out before I release them. So all of, are all of these originals? Or? Uh, some of them are originals, but a lot of these are prints of my originals because they go pretty quickly. Gotcha. Now, do you do any commissions? Uh, yes, I do commissions, yes. 
Okay, so if somebody wants you to commission you to do artwork, how can they find you online? Uh, they would just reach out to me through blue130 at gmail.com or you can find me on Instagram again at blue130. Okay, do you have a website at all? Yes, it's battyjuice.com. Spell that out. B A T T Y G U I C E dot com. Well, thank you for taking a few minutes of your time to talk to us. This stuff is crazy good, a little thank dark, you. but according to her, that means happy memories. Yes. Where so, can we find them? We already talked about them. No, right here. What oh, booth? so what booth are you? 2324. Here so at she's 2324, and you'll be here tomorrow? Yes, I will. She'll be here tomorrow, 2324. Come here tomorrow to Comic Palooza. And y'all, have a good night. We're done. have my outfit on but I'm going to take you guys through a car show that is going on here and we're gonna kick it off and the rest gonna be super quick you guys ready here we go maybe maybe no not working <sighs> hold on haha -ha, there we go all right, so this is whew, the Spider Gwen car. Check this out. Look at it. I love it. All right, and then check out this Joker car. You have a ton of people taking photos and stuff with it. Check it out. This is gnarly. Do you see? See this? If you guys are not here, you guys are definitely missing out for sure. Look at this one. Ooh. Hey guys, I am back. So I've been, I was stopped for a photo. You guys, you know how it is when you guys dress up in cosplay and stuff. Check out this Mortal Kombat truck. Oh my gosh, I am in love. But if you guys are not here, you are missing out on some of these cool, totally cool vehicles. Like, check this out. These are gnarly. And that's coming from a fan. Look at this Cyborg one. Isn't that one cool? I love it. You know which one is my favorite though? Is besides the Spider-Man one, is this Deadpool one. I'm gonna take you guys to see Deadpool. There's Superman, we'll come back, we'll come back. I promise. Look at Deadpool. Isn't this awesome? This is awesome. Look at it. Man. Deadpool's like my thing. 
Love it. Look. Ooh, yeah. Isn't that cool? I love it. Look at this. are definitely missing out. Look at this one from Supernatural, you guys. Wow. Check this one out. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? You guys, we're gonna go over here to this Joker truck. Check it out, you guys. Look at this thing. Isn't it cool? Look at like the ha-has on it. You see it? Oh my goodness. Check it out, man. You guys, if you haven't figured out already, I'm in like hog heaven over here. Totally in hog heaven, but they have a Mandalorian one. This one was Greg's favorite when we were walking around earlier because you know, we've been here since the break of dawn. I'm gonna take you guys to the Mandalorian one and then I'm gonna let y'all go. But I wanted you guys to check it out. Check it out. just finished up a panel that's why it's pretty loud but is this not awesome yes hold on hey okay I took my mask off you guys don't judge me okay don't judge me but those are the cool cars so if you are not here at Comic Palooza you are missing out on these awesome vehicles I'm gonna go back to the the Spider-Man, spider Gwen Spider one, get a quick photo. I'm gonna put my mask on and everything. But I hope you guys have a stellar day, and we will catch you guys all on the next con. Now remember, Comic Conroe is next weekend, and we will be there live in person. So you can come party with me. I'll be in this outfit. But have a great day, everybody.